people as real as she seen them, which often got her in hot water with her peers. In fact, Richard Wright, of course, and other black writers from the Harlem Renaissance often chastised Hurston for not painting black people in a respectable way. Can anybody tell me why that might be? Bree? Well, respectability was a way of life during those times. Many of the writers of the Harlem Renaissance believed that they needed to combat the negative stereotypes of African Americans by painting us in a more respectable way. They thought that if we behaved a certain way, we'd be treated differently. We'll see. I'm worried about you, honey. I knew going to that school so far away would be tough on you. I'm fine, mom. I'm making it work. Okay, just know you can always come home. You can even go to the school that Terry goes to. She's making lots of friends. She even mentioned some girl named Liz the other day. I said I'm fine, Mom. Look, I just got to the library. I'll call you back. All right, I love you. Okay, love you too. Bye. Seeing you on my favorite day. It was good seeing you too. You know, I was thinking, without Zora, we would have lost a lot of our practices. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Well, what do you feel about spirituality? Well, I feel like there's a lot I still don't know. You don't seem like the type to stay in the dark about anything. Well, I have these dreams. About and what? there's this woman, and she has this snake, and she's beautiful, but. But what? It seems to be looking at me. Wait, it seems like somebody paid you a visit. What do you mean? Hold on. Read this. Girl, I do not feel like packing and unpacking. I'm just tired. <laughs> I was about to say, you're already back. <laughs> well, I don't feel like I'm packing. Like, you know, I'm just so tired. What you doing today? Um, I have no plans. What's you know, nothing. nothing off. Do you smell that? Uh, yeah, it smells like sage. Sage? You know Elizabeth, you know they said that she does that hoodoo. What? Yeah. Well, I practice. And many other things. Well, I'll let you get acquainted with the witch of Eastwick. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so I guess the rumors are true, huh? Not the one about me eating children. I prefer the taste of babies. What? Babies? I'm kidding. Duh, bitch. <laughs> I don't eat no goddamn hey. baby. The last show don't like the smell of baby food, girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. So tell me, what happened with your last situation? 
Well, my roommate, mm -hmm. she thought I was practicing hoodoo on her. Or whatever. So were you? No. Those things are dangerous. And plus, she wasn't worth the karma. I should have gave her a potion to fix that damn mess she had on her head. <laughs> Girl, you crazy. <laughs> so tell me, what do you practice? I do root work. And it changes your mind. Magic. magic. Mm. So you're a witch. Do you know what our ancestors went through before they came to this country? No, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. Well, they sure as hell wasn't praying to Jesus. We have our own way of doing things. Oh, my manners. I'm Liz. Yeah, they told me who you were before I moved in here. So, you going to be doing that stuff in here? Why? <laughs> you scared? I'm just asking. <laughs> you know. You really think it is. Hey, Bree, you always alone. I like it that way. <laughs> what is that smell? Are you smoking now? Okay, Bree, Bree, all grown up. Good girl gone bad. I see you. So what's this trend you're following now? It's no trend. It's who I am. So what does that mean? I am a spiritually awakened woman. <laughs> Okay, Brie, what are you reading? It's just a book about spiritual evolution. Hmm. Well, maybe we should start our own coven. <laughs> <laughs> but since you're interested in this type of stuff now, how about you come with me and my girls next week to a rally? It's about some sisters getting together to awaken a community through spiritual activism. You down? I mean, it'll be dancing, food, and some woke brothers too, girl. Well, that sounds fun, but I actually have a woke brother of my own now. Wait, are you dating? I'm not that same Bri Bri you used to know. Okay, I see you, Bri Bri all grown up. Well, you'd be surprised what you miss when you stop talking to a person for a year. Oh, was that shade? A little bit. <laughs> Girl, well, I guess that was pretty mean of me, huh? It was pretty bitchy of you. Oh. I was sick, and all you could think about was your party. <sighs> Bri, well, you know I'm not that girl no more. You know, and I really hope you can forgive me. You forgive your sister? Yeah, I do. Okay, <laughs> girl. <laughs>
你活着。